Hey there, my friends, Brian King here. One thing I've noticed about a lot of parents, and in fact, I'm gonna be doing a training for my clients on this next week, is that they parent without a target. One of the, the famous business gurus, Stephen Covey, encouraged us to begin with the end in mind, meaning we know our destination, we know our target, we know where we're going. Very rarely do I see parents parenting that way. You know, they don't know at the end of the long game which is parenting, you know, from birth to 18 or 25 or whenever they can launch their kid, they don't have an end goal. They don't know what they want their child to be prepared to do at the end of the long game. You know, to put it very simply, the responsibility of a parent is to prepare your child to be a contributing member of society and to be able to meet his or her needs without you. You know, because we're not immortal. Our kids are going to need to be able to stand on their own two feet, whether they have the, whether they have special needs or not. You know, because in our absence, then they are going to need community. They'll need a support system around them. They need a support system anyway. But when you are talking about a special needs child, we're talking much more strategic. But back to my larger point. I see too many parents that are engaged in what I call stop at parenting, which is reactive parenting. They think that their responsibility is to keep the kid from causing trouble, keep the kid from, you know, making a mess, keep the kid from killing themselves by walking in front of the car without looking both ways. And it's very easy to get caught up in that reactive parenting. The problem is this. You're teaching your kid not to do, to stop it, what they can't. You're teaching them where the limits are. You're not encouraging them to look forward to accomplishing any goal. It's very hard to prepare a child for the world when everything is reactive instead of proactive. So what I encourage parents to do is sit down and ask themselves, regardless of the puppies, ask, the, ask yourself, what's my end game? What do I want my child to be prepared to do once they leave my keep? What values, what beliefs, what skills what habits do I want to send my kid into the world with? A lot of them are internal skills. You know, parents will focus on you know, cooking and, you know, cleaning and being able to keep a household, which is very valuable. But the internal skills like emotional intelligence, self-discipline, emotional regulation, those are huge. And parents miss those opportunities because they're too busy telling their kid to stop it. They're missing those teachable moments, and more importantly, they don't know how to use those moments when they show up. Now, that's why I do what I do, because I had to learn the hard way through my three very wonderful but high-maintenance sons how to actively facilitate learning those skills like a laser beam because kids with Asperger's and ADHD are harder to teach. It's harder to get those lessons in. So if I can help my boys learn those lessons, I sure as hell can help your kid learn those lessons. I know how to get through the wall, through that stubbornness. Because our kids need to be prepared to live a proactive life, a life that has purpose, a sense of direction, a sense that they're working towards something. Otherwise, they end up just waiting around for people to tell them what to do because that's all they've really gotten from a reactive parent. Do this, don't do that. How many times have I told you? Or they wait to be told what to do because they lack so much confidence in their own judgment because every time they're told to stop it, knock it off, put it down, their judgment becomes questioned. So there's so much more to this. You know, I could talk for God knows how long, but I just wanted to put this message out there and follow up with me if you want to talk more about this because it is so important. But the bottom line is your parenting, your engagement, your interactions with your child need to be about who they need to be when they leave the nest to be able to live proactively and responsibly out there in the world. So I'll leave it at that for now. Thank you, all of you who tuned in. If there's any way I can be of help to you, please ask. That's why I'm here. Until we talk again, this has been Brian. Talk to you soon.